Right, what we have here is a non-traditional Slayer Exciter. You can see from the shape of the coil and what's going on with the primary there, with these loops here, it's different. And right, what it is is an idea from Wave Watcher One Two Three on the OverUnity.com forum, and I'll post a link to the discussion. And he was saying that he added a lot of turns to the L1, the main primary coil, and it actually ended up running at a lower wattage, at lower amperage. So I gave that a try, and what this is, is an old coil from a few years ago now that's split in the middle of 30 gauge, 150 on the left, 150 on the right, and I've put two ferrite rods inside. And there, in the middle, is 36 turns of 30AWG. It can be tuned if I grab hold here, and you can watch the LEDs and whatnot. Move that from the left, well, you can see how much of a change it makes. I'll just get it to about the right place there. Um, also very good for wireless output. The one wire is the yellow that's coming out there and that goes into those, well, 29.5 LEDs that are on. The other one there comes on sometimes. Uh, we've got this that's running. This is a, a more regular Slayer Exciter. We've got the 8 watt uh, bulb from Dollar Tree. We've got the Stifler SFM that's running wirelessly. Um, well, an LED and an AV plug there. There's the ring of 12 diodes that Dr. Siffler showed recently. I'll show more about that in a bit. And another one there, another LED on an AV plug. The, from the, the heat sink of the Dollar Tree bulb, coming out, we've got that exciter on it. And then a wireless pickup using one of those um, dupe coils goes out to that coil there, which has got a Stifler loop on it. And finally, over in the corner, right over there, flashing away, is... Well, it's a blocking oscillator with a little bulb thing on the top there. So, next thing I'll show is the input amperage. The driving voltage is 5 volts from USB. Right, there we are. I've got the probes across a 1 ohm resistor. And somehow, this is reporting as about 19 millivolts, which uh, is 19 milliamps. And I can't believe that for one minute. It just seems far too low. Now what I forgot to mention before was this, I've just put it back in place a little bit better and um, this is just a regular coil, I've not touched it in any way, shape or form, just took it off an old junker board and put an LED over it. Now this lights up in between the two coils. Um, also I think it was noted by WaveWatcher123 that you do get a wireless field, a wireless output all the way along the coil which is another bit of a difference really to a traditional Slayer and that is um, because normally you just get right at the very top but this it's all the way along so I'll put that back there and I'll show you what the uh, that ring does there like I say it's 12 1M4148 in a ring okay so if we get a traditional AV plug oops got it caught, how about that <laughs> right, so a traditional AV plug. Uh, first thing is uh, there's wireless everywhere, all around here, wireless output. Now, if you go for the height above some kind of thing that's running, so I'll do that, we'll go upward, and we can use that light on the left as a height. You can see that, well, it's there, so that's about six inches from the table. If I grab this other thing, though, it's still going and 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 it's way past the light there and you can see there's still light from it and that is uh, that's quite an incredible difference and really when you think about it if you've got 12 LEDs, uh, 12 diodes there in a circle you are dropping all that voltage to get to the LED part so the ring is actually working as a current loop so uh, yeah, I'm quite impressed with that, and I know it's not what Dr. Stiffler showed, but it is perhaps another use. If you've got a lot of diodes, you can get really quite an efficient AV plug in a way. So there we are, that's that. And finally, just to mention this uh, little AV plug with the LED on it, and this wire here is just about 30 gauge. I think it is 30 gauge, it looks a little bit finer, but um, it certainly works fine on this whole table full. <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching.